Hello, this is Off from the ZPanel community and the open source. Today I'm going to show you the third part of future hosting VPS, a managed server. The third part is going to be with Plask. First of all, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Blogger. Now let's go to Future Hosting website. As you can see, it's a brand new website. Virtual Private Server start at seventeen dollars forty seven cents. Uh, this is an offer now. I think rather than thirty dollars. Once you press order now, you can see all the configurations. We got managed, unmanaged, the hybrid. They also dedicate the server, but as you know, today we're going to talk about just the virtual private servers, the unmanaged with the Plesk control panel. Now, to get more information about the unmanaged server and the service from future hosting, don't forget to check it out my first part of the videos of the series. Anyway, let's start now with the uh, starting with the plus control panel. Anyway, once you register and everything, you're going to receive a email from Future Hosting with your login passwords and an IP. Now, if you type the IP you get, you get this part of it with the certifications. Uh, you proceed and you're going to log in. Here you can put the actual username and a password given by the future hosting company. I'm going to use a fictitious username. This time I'm going to show you the proper login and password. And I'm going to press login. Now you get the user and the user license agreement where you scroll after read it you scroll down at the end and accept it make sure that you click that you agree and you can also click do not show that again in this case I'm not going to leave it myself but to you do whatever you want to do it and then I press accept now the next screen is asking you for the full host name uh, I'm going to use my usual free t dot tk domain names so eg server for this tutorial and logically it's only one IP dedicated IP has been allocated to me for this tutorial now I was going to use plus.ag server but uh, cheat a little bit I'm going to put www.ag-server.ck That's the actual IP. As you can see, it's only one IP allocated. I'm going to put a new password and I'm going to confirm the password. Press OK. Now it's going to start to asking some of the questions where logically you need to make sure that you read it through before you can actually make a decision what you're going to use it for. If it's a commercial, you know, for corporate, web designers, for this particular tutorial I'm going to use commercial. Now each individual things there does exactly something different. You need to make sure that you choose the right one. By doing so, you get more or less little bit features. Once you decide which one you're going for, you press OK. Here you can put all the information about the administrator, the company, contact name, phone, fax. 
whatever you want to put it really and then you press ok once you finished So once done, you are inside the Plesk panel. Of course, this is the actual 14 days trial. Uh, because it's a tutorial, you haven't got the actual full key. Now I pressed Ohm. This is what you get. As you can see from the top here, we got the domain name that I put in. That is the next one. Eh? You can add the customers, resellers, domains, subscription service plans, and so on. Of course, you can just browse around and have a look before you can even start to configure the actual panel the way you want it. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. Don't forget that you can follow me on Twitter, Blogger, and of course on this channel on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again, and please share it. Thank you. Bye.